What's up you guys? In today's video we're going to take a look at how an Uplast paint booth vent cap with butterfly dampers is made. This is rainproof because of the design of the dampers which open when the fan is running and close automatically. I'm your host Jaden and this is the Moonlight Craftsman Channel. So this vent cap consists of a 16 gauge galvanized lower body and a 20 gauge weather guard that protects the dampers from the wind and it also serves another purpose of uh, holding the rods for the dampers and just out of sake of using the material that I had I made it out of two pieces so got rolling two halves and now getting ready to spot weld it on this old Acme spot welder getting the tips sharp they work a lot better that way and got a half inch lap here on the weather guard. It's out of 20 gauge. And um, it's just an old sheet metal trick that if it's gold, it holds. So I'm gonna continue to get that spot welded up. As you can see, there's some other little holes there. Those are gonna be uh, for the rivets for my standoffs that'll connect the weather guard to the 16 gauge body. So those are equally spaced, put in there with the water jet. Um, there would be six of them. Right here, putting a bead on both sides with the bead roller. This will give it some strength, rigidity to the weather guard. These are bearings that I'm using. They're um, bronze, and so they'll have good wear resistance. They'll last a long time. Um, now since this is just a 20 gauge weather guard and putting these bearings in here and um, needed to add an eighth inch thick plate on the outside uh, for those bearings to go into just to give it a little bit more support make it last a long time so to get the bearings and the plates set i go ahead and put in those the rods that the dampers will be welded to and that way they're put in there and you clamp those plates you know it's going to be straight we're not going to be you know have any binding and all that pull the rods out get her welded up moving on to the uh, standoffs that it's going like i said is going to connect the 20 gauge weather guard to the 16 gauge body now since it's round um, I'm gonna these are gonna be a little bit over and under 90 on these bins and um, I got holes already made on one side here I used SolidWorks to design this so you know cross my fingers hopefully it all uh, works out like it's supposed to in the 3d world sometimes it doesn't you know so you will still want to verify as you go along and um, so like I said I already got the holes in the weather guard piece for the rivets so I can go ahead and get those riveted and set in the uh, weather guard which goes on top and using this air rivet gun that uh, works pretty well moving on to the the rest of them like I said there's six of them right now it's upside down now this is the 16 gauge body so what you have here uh, gonna use a MIG welder to weld this up but uh, getting her tacked up after I get this tacked up we'll go ahead and weld her out <laughs> I'm going to grind the bottoms of these welds because I'm going to put it through the bead roller here and just that extra weld be hard on the bead roller so get that flattened out. 
Now here, I'm bending up the water diverter that's gonna go at the top of this 16 gauge body. And since this is a two piece damper system, uh, there's gonna be a gap in the middle. So this water diverter, diverter, excuse me, here will allow the water to go to the outside of the body and run down. The body sits over a 24 inch pipe that extends through the roof. So here I have the wheels installed opposite of what I had before so that the bead is going to be formed to the inside here. Since this um, body will, like I said, fit over the 24 inch pipe so that the water goes on the outside. As you can see here, I have some small holes here in the base where that allow the installers to put their screws into the pipe a little bit easier but it's also going to come in handy here later when I place the uh, standoffs for welding the weather guard onto the body. Right here the dampers they'll go on top of the body and so they're going to need a drip edge on all sides. The straight side where the uh, pivot rod is going to be uh, I can just use the brake but uh, here I'm notching a little bit I'll weld this up here in a little bit but um, on that radius side I'm going to have to do that with the crimper because I'm going to want to shrink the material so using the crimping dies here and I'll just uh, won't go the full the full amount in the first pass so I'll repeat this process about three times to get the right angle because water has a way of wanting to go uphill sometimes uh, for sure to the side so the drip edge just allows the water to do exactly that drip off and we don't want it to get inside our 16 gauge body because that would go down into the paint booth which you don't want so I got those notched at the end there earlier and and now I'm just gonna flatten these blades up a little bit make sure they're flat and then I'll get these corners welded and in this design I I made those pivot rods uh, I designed it to where the rods would go on top so if they would go underneath then that would kind of create an area where the water could possibly go around the rod so the rods being on top, uh, I feel like, gives it a more uh, watertight uh, design. Now here, bending up a piece that'll install on the top of the weather guard. Uh, this, I'm just going to silicone bronze this on here. This is 16 gauge. It's going to stiffen up the top of that weather guard, but it's also going to create uh, a stop for the damper so when it hits that it the damper can't go above 90 degrees when it's open so therefore gravity when the fan shuts off the damper blades will fall back down on their own and you'll see that uh, in the end if you had didn't see that in the beginning but uh, right here I've got it marked uh, from my design uh, where those standoffs should be. I'm just going to tack them in place because like I said before sometimes it doesn't exactly you know the 3D world doesn't exactly line up with the real world so doing a test fit here made some small tacks so I can break them if I need to putting these damper blades in going to put the pivot rods in put my bearings in and do a check, check in the bottom, do I got a good seal? Check in the rods, is there a gap? Um, uh, is there not enough gap here? And, and uh, in this case, it uh, all worked out. The blades have are uh, covering the body by a half inch at least, and the rods are in good position. So I'm gonna remove those come back out here this is what I was saying about the holes uh, where they can screw to the pipe I'm using those holes since they're spaced the same distance 
uh, I know I can center up those standoffs right on those holes, square the standoffs to the body. And this is important because uh, if those standoffs are to the left or to the right in this picture, um, you know, you could get that out around and it could make it hard for the installers to get it on the pipe or it could bind the damper blades. And so just those little things, taking care, attention to detail, uh, it's gonna give you a better product. And uh, all those little things, if done right, they add up to a good project. If they little things done wrong, they can add up to it not working. And right here, these bearings, they have a little flange. So they won't be able to go onto the inside, but right here I made some washers to put on the outside of the rods and making a little, I made a little gap about a sixteenth of an inch so these blades can actually move an eighth inch, uh, sixteenth one way, sixteenth the other way, a little slop, we're not building airplanes here, but uh, that just again allows it to not bind up but those washers on the end of the rods uh, welded on there will prevent those bearings from coming out of the weather guard. Now it's time to uh, tack the blades in there, give it one more test, um, make sure they're operational, and they are. And so we're gonna weld those up and this is a done deal. It looks good, turns out good, the blades work well. Um, I think those are gonna last a long time and looking at the bottom it's got a great seal i hope you guys enjoyed the video uh, be sure to like it and subscribe if you found it helpful and we'll see you on the next one guys